Ooh, da, da, da. where were we? Uh, you were getting into Appleton. Oh, yeah, I was getting into Appleton. Yeah, I find this one funny. You know, Google Music is starting to make its offering. They're starting to do stuff. Um, and iTunes counter-offering, at least according to this offer, according to this article, is to put Google Plus integration into iTunes. And, and, and part of me is like, okay, so what? But then I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wasn't it not that long ago that, like, Apple got up and said, we have ping, Mr. Rizzuli, and it will conquer everything. And now they've given up and moved on to Google+. Plus. And like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, 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 ping still, yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what ping was supposed to be? Like, Apple... Ping still, it still comes up on my iTunes, but I don't participate with it. But that, 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 that's the thing. I mean, it's, it's an iTunes... It's an Apple-only... Social network. I, I mean, what use is that? It, it, it's integrating. Well, ping and i ads are, are pretty much the, uh, for you know the the, the, the probably, probably the, the the failed services though. Uh, kind of like another mobile me, if you will. Yeah, I, I'll I'll buy that. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, I'm thinking Go uh, Google Plus. <laughs> Love or hate it is spreading. Is spreading like a virus. It, it, it's just. Um, it, it's becoming. Have a Google. Join the Google ID service for yeah. your own good. No, but I will say this here for the Apple though. Why does the Nexus? Is it the Nexus S or whatever that Nexus phone coming out? It looks just like the guy's iOS when you when you when it comes up. It's got. Okay, it's got a Android. They're not actual buttons. They're screen touch buttons, part of the OS. But it has a dock and it has the icons, just like iOS. I mean, I hate that look. I hate. I think that is the worst navigation period for a mobile OS. Well, this is and one of the reasons I per. This is honestly one of the reasons I prefer Motorola or HTC phones to Samsung phones. Uh, and I. I mean, that is a clear. Like, oh, iOS, let's copy that. I mean, to me, it's just, I look at that, I'm like, what are you doing? In, in terms of how it works, it, it's, 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 it's Android-ish. It's, it's nothing, it works nothing like iOS. But honestly, I think that's even worse because if somebody's coming to that straight from an iPhone, they're going to expect it to behave way A and it behaves way B, mm -hmm. which then creates a double confusion. It's like, no, 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 no. That. And see, I think, and, and, it, and I, the, the demo I watch is, I'm probably, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get that Google Nexus thing. I mean, it, it, I'm, gonna, I'm really like the eraser, but I kind of wanted to see where Andrew was going with ice cream. That's why I was only interested. Well, that, that's where Samsung is taking ice cream. This is one of the reasons I really would, I would honestly like to see. Google finish and be allowed to buy Motorola because then we would have a whole we would have basically a, a yardstick. The Motorola Android phone would be what Google envisions Android to be. And you would know. Is it Google doing this? Is it Samsung doing this? Is it HTC? You would know unequivocally, because like this would be the pure Google one. The only measure we got of that yardstick was the Nexus one. Which is, you know, it was done for only two versions of Android. You know, it was done for basically two yeah. versions of Android 2. And uh, I think Android is following iOS in the wrong direction. I don't like, I think that's what attracts me to Windows. I don't like, and, and, and WebOS as well, so I don't like app-based ideology in the terms of an app can do that. I want services to me. Well, and honestly, that I want the service the priority, and not. I, I, I don't like the tile-based nature. It, it, to be honest, the, the the tile layout that Windows has chosen to go with it anno it annoys me a little bit. Uh, and that's one of the, that, that's one of the reasons I don't like the way. If, if, if anybody who's been using Android, look at what's happened to the Android marketplace. It's become very tile-like. Uh, over its revisions, no, no, and, and I, 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 I
service oriented and not app centric at all. Uh, I, 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 that, that, that is the case. See, I, I, I understand that you like that, but I have my doubts whether it's going to stay that way. And I say that because they're more, they're focused on that now because they don't have a lot of apps. Yeah, oh, you're saying if they change it to app, yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah, no, and I, I'm thinking that's honestly what they'll do as soon as they get enough apps that they can actually brag about that. Because right now, they want the focus off of the apps because they're very weak there. There's not a lot of yeah, them. I don't think mobile should be that app-centric. I think it, it, mobile is number one a very limited uh, it is still the limited end of the stick in terms of computing. And therefore, if it is limited, then the end result is a service provided to us. What, we, what do we want in terms of the service provided to us? And I would rather that be service-centric than app-centric uh, in terms of concern because it affects the layout, it affects how we navigate. I, I, I watched that stupid demo with the Nexus thing on Samsung. They were dragging apps and other apps to make subcategories. I was like, God, is that clunky. Now, people might go, oh, my God, no, this is great. You're thinking it's great to you because you're, you've, you've bought hook, line, and sinker the way the UIs work for those uh, icon boxes for the application. There can be a totally different route to providing a service to you for what you want done versus, like, all these organizational things because, guess what? It created the problem that you need now to organize it. So you've created a complexity. Well, uh, uh, Mar Marcel, what you're getting at right there is one of the reasons I'm a huge fan of KDE. Because at the end of the day, for all intents and purposes, what KDE is, KDE is fundamentally is a blank canvas on which you throw things, in the case of KDE, plasmoids and widgets, to provide whatever the hell you want. Uh, which can be done in the idea of organizing folders on, but it doesn't have to be. You know, basically, I want to paint the picture this way, uh, and um, that that can be both powerful and scary uh, to the end user. And it honestly just depends on what foot is put forward. I, I I do think you're being a little short-sighted though when it comes to the idea that you know mobile is already. But I mean, I, I I'm looking at I, I'm thinking two more cycles of Moore's Law ahead when these mobile devices are as powerful as this desktop can be. Wait a minute, but it's not about power I'm talking about. Uh, a mobile platform is a limited screen real estate platform, which means that we need simplicity, especially. Also on battery power. It's not about how many cycles I can do and what I can do, all right? That, that submits to the idea of service. A service has been providing to but we've already created a complexity by making things by making things so app-centric that we now need organizational tools to handle that complexity versus just having, all right, we understand this is a limited screen real estate. It's, it's already, it's still a very limited uh, means of providing services for the amount of energy it consumes, so and so forth, you know, cycle CPU, walk, all that other shit. So it needs, to, it needs to maintain that limiting ide ideology uh, I, 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 I have to disagree because if we'd applied that ideology to the first laptops... No, no, no but a laptop's not a mobile device. That's a portable device, not a mobile device. Mobile, mobile to me, is a very separate thing than portable, okay? Now, a, a tablet is becoming a portable device, okay? But on a phone, we're bringing... We're, we're trying to shove desktop power into a phone. And that, and see that, and that's what I was getting at. Eventually, I'm going to, I am agreeing with you that eventually, it's going to become even more, more so now. Where, let's say, let's just say, right now, a phone is both portable and mobile computing, and that's the problem. What Steve Jobs wanted was the end of mobile. Oh, now we understand. You're looking at it through the Steve Jobs scope. I, I get it now. <laughs> uh, no, but, but mobile. Mobile presents, being mobile presents what the device essentially is, which it is hard, majorly controlled by in our, the mobile side of things. And essentially, okay, the operating system is nice, but yet it participates on the main meat and guts of it being the mobile. And eventually, what I wanted and what I hope 
occurs is that telephony becomes an afterthought. I want the telephony to become an afterthought. I want to be able to make a phone call from my desktop. Using I, 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 if you're getting at what you think you're getting at, this is one of the things. I, this but is one of the things that's making me sit down and learn how to do software development. And, and I, I'm working with people to it, to increase my software development skills right now, uh, because honestly, I am getting sick and tired of waiting on the industry to get the idea of these are not separate devices this is not a box here box here box thing my all my stuff should just kind of seamlessly flow together into my little right virtualized right. extended right. you're right i want to you're right i want to modulize and commoditize many services across multiple devices exactly the means of navigation and what its purpose should do depending on its because screen real estate is extremely important for function. We should not spend our time cluttering small screen real estate. Well, and the reality is our computing uh, ability is sophisticated enough right now that if it was designed that way, my phone could just be an augmentation device for my computer and vice versa. Huh? And, and so... And, and remember, yes. And remember what, what was the tablet supposed to be for me? It was supposed to be a sleeve device to my phone, was it not? Uh, well, I mean, there's debate that. on that. Uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, um, it, you could reverse that too. No, uh, I know, I know. But remember, but it's because the reality. I think we have a harder time removing the carriers than we do the software, because I mean, the carriers have this enormous infrastructure in the United States that's just gonna. I don't know what it's gonna take to to change that power switch. <laughs> So I, I kind of, maybe I have a bias in that, and maybe I'll admit I'm maybe short-sighted in that and saying the likelihood of that changing versus the opposite in terms of, of, of software where we're going uh, on the computing world, um, I, I just can't see the United States changing so rapidly and removing that. Well, the first thing we have to change is enforcing, enforcing holding up innovation. Uh, which is, I don't see... I, I, think because I would love to be, just be done with that, and it's not even a concern. Yeah. And, and see, I like, for instance, Microsoft makes these future concept videos that other <laughs> Apple peers put down because they say it's rubbish, that, that it's not an existing product. But it is visionary. It is something that we make concepts of. It's the very thing that Google Wallet is doing that may not find its place in time right now, but it will. It's just like application service providers that existed in the early 90s that all of a sudden we think is a new miracle today. You know, well, and, and you know what? People bash on those like concept videos and stuff like yeah. you're saying. But here, here for those of you who do not understand how powerful a concept video can be, do yeah. you know where the cell phone came from? The, the <laughs> you know, yeah, the Motorola Star Tech and all of that stuff. You know, the early Motorola cell phones and and stuff. Uh, K, look, at, the, look at Star Trek in the 80s. No, 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 no. That's exactly the guy who was behind that project and, and, and basically creating cell phones and Motorola and all of that stuff. You know where he got the damn idea? Gene Roddenberry and Captain Kirk. And, and that was why it ultimately coalesced into the little clamshell phones. Because he's like, no, I must build Captain Kirk's communicator. It's like about the latest Microsoft feature concept there you go, was that it was very service specific in other words we don't have to buy a specific hardware the woman had a, a, a pair of glasses it was the software that was key she hit like a button that it could be any model of glasses right and, and it translated the device and and the, what i loved about the microsoft vision was that software running on our everyday products in other words i don't have to change my lifestyle concept of a refrigerator and, but I can, in other words, I'm not going to buy a refrigerator from Apple, but I can certainly apply a software because a refrigerator doesn't need to change unless, of course, we get technology in terms of logistical food packing. Uh, 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 unless, of course, the solution is provided by Microsoft or Apple, in which case we have to live in their bubble. No, but Microsoft is envisioning their solutions and saying it's an, the software is an addition to, it's an embetterment. It's not the idea of saying we want to bring you into our entire ecosystem and therefore you must buy all of our products and all of this in order to participate. No Apple, I'm not going to buy an Apple branded refrigerator. If I want to, if I, you know, if I want to buy uh, a General Electric or, or what have you, uh, that's refrigerator.
refrigerator went by, and I would. And if, and if I, I, I know the concept video you're talking about. Yeah. However, I think Microsoft is actually behind in that because that's also the same game plan Google has. If you've looked at their embed plan for using, uh, that's for making, fun. for making. I don't care. Software can be mo modulized. No, 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 no. That 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 uh, that that is if you look at. Google's plan for embed, that that is basically what they want to do with Android. They want to make it an augmentation like and, it, and, and, and Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, who, who would think? Honestly, who would have guessed 10 years ago that the companies, the company that would be in danger of taking over everything would be a search company? Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to make fun of Microsoft's attempt at the courier. I guarantee you Microsoft is going to store that in the shelf because, sadly, the demographic of computer users is not yet ready. Computer user usage is actually the learning curve problem. We have to go on a curve right now to keep people caught up as it is, right? Now, okay, fine, they're, they're, they're visualizing other things, and so... But that doesn't make the courier, Microsoft courier, a bad idea. It's just not for the time. I, I, you know, it it it, it so pained me to it, 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 it pained me to admit this when the rumors were going around. But I, 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 for those of you who don't know, even though I'm not very good at it anymore, unfortunately, because this arm has been busted up a lot of times. Uh, so I, I don't have the fine hand stuff I used to be. But I like to sketch. I like to do art and stuff. And I looked at the courier. I'm like. This is a Slate tablet built for artists and architects. I have all my things on one side. I have my interactive canvas on the others. It, 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 I looked at it. This is this is the perfect form factor for getting that stuff done. I don't have to take my take my virtual pen or stylus off and, and like stop being an artist or drawing or sketching or or, or making my plans. To do yep. computing stuff, I have controls over here. Yep. I have it was designed perfectly for that. And I was a little annoyed yep. that it didn't come because hey, it, it's perfect. Mark my words. Mark my words. We're headed straight for the carrier, or for the courier, however you call it, the courier, or carrier, whatever. We're headed straight for it, and people can go and shout, oh, "What are you talking about?" The reason why we're headed straight. The reason why we're headed straight for it is because. Sorry, my my line was back to that thing. The reason why we're headed straight forward is because screen real estate is priceless. Period. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. It is a problem currently, and a struggle for all companies now because now the consumer demand is there. Even more, Apple has to yield and say, the amount of functions and services I got to provide now on the iPhone 4s means less battery life than our predecessors. Yes, that's that's just a consequence of what I'm going to do. There, there is push, push and push. People are going to laugh. Go ahead and laugh at them. The, the, I, 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 I'm going to give it 50-50, and that's because, because it, it, for, for as technology stands right now, this moment, I agree with you. However, there is a competing technology which makes the idea of screen size in and of itself obsolete. Oh, yeah, well, and that you, is yeah. the augmented reality technology, like Sixth Sense and virtual screens and everything else. And that, coupled with other technology, would mean there's no such thing as a limitation on screen size. For, for, to put that in perspective, originally when we started making user interfaces for the internet and UIs and stuff, we started basing it on the real world. We were making like virtual cities inside the computer and so forth. And we realized very quickly, this is stupid. We're in a virtual world that is not limited by the physical limitations. And something that happens once you get rid of a physical screen and move to augmented reality screen technology, yeah, you can it do is that, yeah, okay, it basically it, you now have an infinite screen that can be anything, anywhere. And, and that technology is here today, and it's actually very cheap. It can be done for under a hundred bucks, but it, it's it's a little buggy. It's it's got some it it, it has some track point things. But there's other technology that's on the market today that could very easily resolve that. So it, it's basically a race to see at what point in the future does that happen? Does this one or this one take be, over? It's going to have to be very pragmatic. And I know what you're talking about, you discussed before about like the wash and all this other stuff. We could very well get that. We could very well get that. Um, we'll have to see.
see because if that happens, then yes, computing changes drastically. I just, but I. Well, and, and that that would actually critique the curve time for average end user because you just design your UI and interfaces around behavior of the common person. In which case, there is no learning curve. They just do what they do always. Okay, what haven't we gone into? <laughs> I love I love these discussions because we, you know we get into the the theoretical things. So I think. Yeah, it's like can, can anybody tell, tell that both me and bitter geeks? <laughs> it's like yeah. but no, but it's very important. I think you know theory is is always extremely important. To think. Well, and theory. Because you talk about when you talk about products and pragmatic stuff. It's already here. And what do you do? Kind of thing. Yeah, it's like, wow, okay. Well, and, and ultimately, theory becomes practice. I mean, all of this stuff was theory at one point. It, it, and then somebody said, well, wait a minute. We can do that now. Let's do it. <laughs> it's like, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh,